Hi, it's Eliana. So today I'm going to talk about why I chose to focus on doing remote viewings of Lockheed Martin's reverse engineering programs of UFOs and why I wrote a book about it that is 590 pages and why did I publish that? Ever since 2017, I've had a list of companies that are associated with various programs, secret space programs, planetary corporations, which is a military corporation that is on Mars. It has its own fleets of spacecrafts equal to the extraterrestrials going beyond the speed of light, working on various technologies, anti-gravity, electromagnetic, electro electropropulsion systems. And I'm not, not saying mercury-powered, plasma-powered engines and even crystalline technology that powers the crafts. So, and I came out with this information starting 2016, made the list of the SSP structure, and Lockheed Martin was among the top of the list. Northrop Grumman, Raytheon, Raytheon has been renamed now. But the reason why I wrote the book this year is because you have to follow the rankings of these companies. Defense, what do the defense companies make by revenue? When you follow the paper trail of the money, you sort of get a picture of which companies do what. What are they doing? Lockheed Martin is the biggest defense contractor for reverse engineering programs of off-world crafts, non-human intelligent crafts. They've been doing this since the 1940s, developing levitation technologies, anti-gravity technology experiments, and then electromagnetic, electrogravitic crafts. So I've had these lists for a very long time. So I chose, I chose Lockheed Martin because it was at the top of my list. I wanted to see what it was doing in terms of reverse engineering programs. And it has its own reverse engineering program and it has a UFO studies program studying off-world crafts, where they come from, what they do, origins, where that is. Where is this stuff coming from in space? That's what they study, non-human crafts, origins. Anything that visits here on Earth is tracked by NORAD, is tracked in Antarctica so they can track UFOs, by radiation signatures, by neutrino signatures, and other things. It's all trackable. It's just not talked about. So, again, these defense companies, they're aerospace contractors. It's their job to reverse engineer advanced tech, certain companies. And I'm going to be looking at stats from 2022 of revenue for defense, purely the defense financials. So let's have a look here. So who, who is at the top of these companies? For 2022, revenue for the for defense, 63.3 billion, 96%. At the top, defense revenue shares share of total. At the top, number one is Lockheed Martin, 63.3 billion dollars. It has to do with reverse engineering programs. It has to do with their normal defense defense contract work, fighter jets, and other contracts for military stuff that they do as well with NASA. Then who comes in as number two at 
billion RTX, formerly named Raytheon, at 59%. Number three is at 32.4 billion. Northrop Grumman, and they do fighter jets, they do shape shifting helicopters, submarines. They were part of my remote viewing project as well because they had been on my list as one of the biggest companies. Raytheon had participated in having a contract in Antarctica for setting up the neutrino detector stuff and other things for the stations. At one point they had that contract and then it was switched out to somebody else. So number, so three top companies, US companies. US is in green, China is in orange, UK is in blue, Italy is in yellow, France is deep blue, Germany red, and Israel is another blue. So this is how these companies are all highlighted by colors. So a lot of them, if you notice, a lot of these companies are green, US, secret space program, aerospace defense contractors. Boeing is at number five, 30.8 billion. Number six is General Dynamics at 30.4 billion. So it's very interesting how there's so much US companies. Why would that be? Why is there so many US companies making this much money? Because many of these defense contractors are part of the secret space program, affiliate program, if you will, affiliates. They're affiliates to planetary corporations, some of them, like Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, probably RTX as well. They, they, they have specialized contracts for things of non-human nature, off-world stuff, and they're leading. There's Booz Allen Hamilton at number 18. They're part of that too. There's, there's Honeywell. There's many different companies that have participated in things that are not on the general books. And you, if you follow the paper trail of what's what and who does what, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory and the data explains it. Again, data and country highlights revenue from defense billions, Lockheed Martin, and this is in USD. 63.3 billion. Defense share of total revenue, 96%. Then RTX, formerly Raytheon Technologies, 39.6 billion, 59%. Then Northrop Grumman, 32.4 billion, 89%. That's some pretty high numbers here. These are three top US companies. Then we have General Dynamics, 30 point four billion at seventy seven percent and we have other countries there's the US there's China they are so many places that work on different contracts that we don't even know about which could be in secret but US leads in many of these contracts there's a reason for that because they're awarded the contracts for these programs to reverse engineer crafts, to study them, to replicate them, 3D print them, to do it perfectly and seamlessly. So now it looks like the ET tech itself. So the top chain of command has always been planetary corporations. That's at the top of the secret space programs, bases on Mars, bases on the moon. And then we have the operations group because that is the group that I call 
it's that secret group that is worldwide. The Black Operations Group, that's what I call it, which has been involved in the psionic stuff, in crashing ET crafts, reverse engineering them. That's just their part of the US stuff, but they're also, also corporate uh, Europe, other countries. They're not just US. So again, planetary corporations, Black Operations Group, Lockheed Martin, RTX, Northrop Grumman. You have to look at this stuff of who makes what and how much in these corporations. They're corporations. They have military contracts. They make top dollar. That should tell us something. Follow the paper trail of the money. And their revenue is available to look at for several years worth. And that should tell us something. Who's reverse engineering what? And it tells its own story. That's why I showed this document from 2022 and why I focused on specific defense contractors for my book. Because who's involved in reverse engineering? These guys are. They're not talking about it, but eventually this will all come out anyways. So this is why I did it. Because I wanted to see who's doing what and to what levels. And they're, all these companies are doing it at many different levels. And their involvement is huge. Going back from the 1940s to present. 2024. This stuff has been happening for a very long time. It's not brand new. We're just getting to hear about it. So this is my explanation of why I did it. Because there's evidence for it. So why not remote view it and see what's going on, where, when, and how. I have the ability, so I decided to do it. And I've also done the background research for it as backup to see if it actually is congruent with the remote viewing data, and it is from a research, analytical, logical perspective. The evidence of the research matches up to the remote viewing data. It's there. It's happening. So that's why I did the book on it all, because it's there. It exists. And at some point, it's going to come out one way or the other. It's not the most huge secret that's being kept secret anymore. There's other secrets of disclosure, but this is part of the mainstay of it. So that's why I wanted to disclose what I know about it from the remote viewing perspective and the research perspective, putting that together and collating it in the book of information because people deserve to know the truth. Thank you so much.